Hey guys, welcome back to my channel again. So, we're going to continue on with the alphabet challenge. And the letter we're doing today is I. And I think I was overthinking it because, um, oh, my alarm's going off. Um, because I couldn't think of anything. And then I looked at, um, because a lot, a lot of the people that are, been doing the challenges have like playlists for you know their their alphabet challenge which I should probably do that but um anyway index cards <laughs> very simple and uh fun to do so I'm gonna do that I did pull out a couple napkins I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them or not but I did pull them out because they're really pretty um I just have to remember to go over here and not over here because <laughs> I normally work right here but I need to go over here because if I move the camera over then y'all will see my mouse and my mouse pad and so because I have my whole desk set up like over here anyway y'all don't care um so I'm gonna grab my brushes here and my tape and because these are not de napkined or backed or whatever what have you so um, I'm gonna do that uh, let's start the timer for 30 minutes and we're gonna start so the first thing we need to do is de napkin our napkin and I just use type um, and I do have these on my shelf if you guys are interested. Um, bloop, bloop. And then I don't know if I'm going to use this one or not, but we'll go ahead and denapkin it too. Bloop. So we're just going to set this aside for now because I really want to use the roses. Um, and I think what I'm going to do, and this is um, Soft Matte Gel by Prima Finabar. Bloop. This is probably one of my favorite mediums to use. Um, Elmer's glue works just fine. And I should probably get a piece of paper or something. Uh, Mod Podge also works just fine. Um, and we're just going to coat the whole shebang. But I like this one because I live in a very, very humid climate. And Mod Podge has a tendency of getting sticky. But this doesn't. So, I like that. It's very wet, as you can see. Now, you could just call it a day. And, you know, leave it like that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to trim it up. And then I'm going to coat it again. You could also use um, cling wrap. I've done that several times in the past. Um, you can use heat and bond. That's a very expensive way to put a napkins on your projects, but it is possible if you so choose. Get off my scissors. Get off. And now we're going to go over this one more time. I guess I could flip it. Well, it doesn't really matter. This is best used on a glue book, not a 
random sheet of paper because when you move it around you're going to get glue on the back if you're not careful. So I'm going to set this one aside and let this one dry. I'm going to do one more and And do a nice thin coat here. Bloop. I'm gonna move the card all around. Hopefully the other side's dry now, so we're gonna flip this over so the napkin doesn't get attached to my paper. State. I want it attached to my index card. But not the paper underneath my index card. Okay. And it doesn't necessarily have to be perfectly adhered because when you put the the coating on top, it will seep down. And these are very light index cards. Very thin. Um I just pulled them out of my drawer full of dyed papers. Um, I'm not sure where exactly these came from, but because I've gotten dyed papers from several different places over the past year or so. I've only been junk journaling for, oh, about a year and a half-ish. I started back in um, probably officially back in October of, was it 19? No, it was 18. October of 18 is when I really started. Uh, Nick the Booksmith had a challenge. I like challenges. And uh, it was the Deserted Island Challenge. And I really enjoyed doing that. And it really got me back into crafting because I was in a funk, a very bad funk. I had a really bad anxiety attack that lasted for a very, very long time. And it kind of got me back into crafting. So I think I'm not going to use the napkins on the last piece. Um, so we're going to be done with that. I don't have anywhere to put this. Um, hmm. well, crap, that's going to be fun to wash when I get done with this video. Hopefully it won't be so bad. Um, oh, I know what I can do. I normally have my cup right here, but I did a lot of rearranging and, um, this is just going to keep it moist until I can wash it, basically, after this video. Um, all right, let's see. Um, what do I want to do with you? Uh, we have stickers. I'm just letting the other two dry while we work on this one here. And cleaning up some stuff. Stuffs. Got stickers. I like the stickers. Stickers are fun. Can overlap. Got some roses here. So those will be fun. Let me grab my brush and where'd my ink go? Alright, I need my paper back. Let's go with this side. Let's try. And we're just going to take some of this white off of the sticker. And I'm, it's pretty transparent, but that white does kind of show up because it's not 100% transparent. It's semi-transparent. So, 
we're just gonna make it not white. All right, and this is archival ink coffee. All right, and take our blade here. Found well, that's probably one of the easier ways to get the backing off of these stickers because I absolutely love these stickers, but the backings can be tricky sometimes. All right, we're gonna put you there. And we're gonna put you, let's say, Come off, come off. Well, good thing I'm not using all of that. So be careful whenever you take your stickers apart. We're going to do it this way now. Um, be gentle. Don't be impatient like me. And then rip your stickers. Because they, I mean, they're fragile. I mean, they're not glass, but they're really, really, really thin paper. And my air conditioner just kicked on. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not. I can. Wait. All right, so what are we going to do with you? You look pretty like that. Let's see, what else can we add? We can add a little bit of wood decoration. Ooh, hello. Oh, wow, I like that a lot. I wonder if we should add some color to it, though like color color not brown although brown is technically a color maybe like a red or something and be gentle with your little wood pieces because they're kind of fragile too I broke one already. Yeah, that definitely shows up a lot better. All right, let's see. Hello. I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. All right. Um, what do I want to use? Huh? What kind of glue do I want to use? And use tacky glue go with E6000. It's kind of my go-to for not fabric or I need one of those super duper micro thin like bottles for E6000. Problem is, I'm pretty sure the pen would get glued into the bottle. That's what I should do. I should make the word hello. So I've got a new program I've been playing with. And one of the things you can do on it is you can draw. So I've been doing um, various calligraphy words and I don't really know which words to use because I don't use them all the time. I'm just taking some of this excess off because I don't need all this. It's a little, that's a little much. All 
Still taking some off because I can see it in the holes is what it, the problem is. I really don't want to touch this. All right. Way better. All right, just kind of slightly push that down because I don't want it to squeeze out all the goopy gaps. Clean off my knife because I just put E6000 all over it. Not that that's going to help much. Oh, it, yeah, it's good. I guess as long as you clean it off while it's still wet, it's good. Alright, hold that. Probably should leave that out just in case. Alright, see what y'all think. I like that. Okay, so there's that one. Let's see. You're still damp, but we'll work with you anyway. Turn the foam back on. All right, 15 minutes. Um, let's do the butterfly. Ooh, there's another butterfly. Okay. Okay. So, oh, 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 we've got some foliage stickers here we can use. Uh, not a whole lot. Where's my foliage, foliage package? Here it is. And these are all available in the shop, too. These little guys. that and then put him over here okay I like that all right let's color you color we're coloring our stickers butterfly there so let's see we've got purple sweet pea uh, ooh, how about the red, red would be pretty. A blossom bud okay gotta open this though because it's not open all right uh, I have no idea what these are they are oh they're prima I can see the little prima flower. All right, so we're not using you. And remember to be gentle so we don't tear it. All right. Was it this way or this way? I think it was this way. See why I mean by it's like semi transparent because you can see the background. All right. Now, nah, let's see what color this is. Hmm. It's kind of purple. I'm not sure I like that. I like purple, but not like that. Alright, let's try. That's rosebud. Let's 
says rose, so hopefully that means it's red. Because the color rose is red. Oh, so much better. Okay. All right. So let's see what you do. We Ooh, that's cool. I'm just coloring with an ink pad, don't mind me. Now what about you guys? Could you like sit and watch someone color? I have actually watched videos of people coloring for hours. Cause it's, I don't know, for whatever reason, it's just like therapeutic. Like the act of coloring itself is fun, but watching other people color as well is fun. I thought about doing videos, but like just coloring, but I wasn't sure if people would like it to be honest. Oh, my tummy's growing. Quit yelling at me. Okay. I so like that. Shoosh. All right. Now we're going to take you. Put you. Right there. Um, let's do. Much better. Okay. I like it. Actually, kind of like it better over there. All right, where are you, silver thing? All right. Now, oh, might be time for a new bottle. Jeez. There's good. All right. What y'all think? Ooh, I like that. That's cool. All right, set you aside. All right, this one is a little bit more dry. And so let's see, what do we want to do with you? Um, first of all, we're going to trim the edge because I missed. And then I'm going to grab something from over here. Um, oh, actually. I don't know why I'm whispering. Like that. This way. I, like, I think I like the yellow better just because it has that, that really bold contrast. I like it. Oh, 
That is so cool. That is really neat. Wow, this didn't take very long at all, actually. Um, I was expecting it to take longer. I think I was expecting it to take longer because it took me so long to try to figure out what to do for a that I anticipated it to take longer than it did. Uh, yep, five minutes left on the clock. Yep, yep. So we'll cancel that and then I will show you guys what we did. Maybe I should just put all these in the same bag. Make my life easier. So this one is still drying and I've lost the other one. Oh, there it is. There's this. I think this one might be my favorite actually. Hello. Hello gorgeous. But there's that one. And then there's this one. And then, I don't know, I really like this one too. And then there's this one. So those are the three index cards. So, kind of a short video, but that's all right. I will be back with the J uh, as soon as I figure out what to do for J. Because um, I can't think of things like right off the top of my head. Um, Jack in the Box. <laughs> um, I was going to say Jesso, but Jesso's with a G. Um, I don't know. I'd have to look and figure out what we're going to do for Jay. Um, I mean, we could do journal, but I don't think I can create three full journals <laughs> in 30 minutes. I mean, I'm quick. I'm not that quick. Um, so I will definitely get back with y'all and um, we'll do uh, the alphabet challenge for the letter J. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I had fun and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.